This is the Heidelberg cement plant in Edmonton. Heidelberg is one of the largest producers in the world, but what makes it unique is their mission to create carbon-free cement. Carbon capture of this scale in a cement plant, this is a very new technology application and it is a lot of learning. So why is a cement plant investing in carbon capture? The Edmonton Heidelberg plant produces nearly 900,000 tons of carbon dioxide every year. That's roughly equivalent to the total emissions created by 200,000 cars. Most of Heidelberg's carbon dioxide comes from creating cement, a key ingredient in the formation of concrete. Cement is the glue that holds everything together in the concrete. It's like the flour and bread. Without it, you just have a bunch of mud and some aggregates. The only way to create cement is by burning limestone at increasingly high temperatures here in this kiln. But when we heat this material up, not only do we release the emissions from the combustion of the natural gas or the alternative fuels as CO2, we also release the CO2 that's built up in the limestone. And that's where the carbon capture process comes in. Here's how it works. Instead of going up the stack, carbon dioxide created by the limestone process will be diverted through a series of stages including heat and cooling, absorbers and desorbers to separate carbon dioxide from particulate matter and sulfur dioxide. In all, the system will capture 95% of carbon dioxide produced at the facility and compress it for storage. We're going to send it into a pipeline at supercritical pressure all the way to the Wobbleman hub where it's going to be sequestered underground. Before all that happens though, Heidelberg is using this machine to track plant emissions. The data will be used to fine tune the plans for the carbon capture system to come. Because the capture CO2 from cement plant flue gas has never been done in commercial scale, mainly the objective is to prove the chemistry of the chemical that we'll use to capture the CO2. Industry insiders say this green approach has to be the future of industrial production. It's one piece of a whole big suite to address uh, greenhouse gas emissions across, yes, heavy industry, but also economy-wide and, and across the world. But there's, you know, there's no silver bullet for reducing emissions in any industry or in any sector or across the economy. I have kids. I want to see a, a brighter, greener future for them. And this presented that opportunity to do a project at scale and help help get the industry out there and help build this Alberta homegrown approach. It's exciting. Heidelberg plans to have the full system up and running by 2026. Stephanie Cramp, CBC News, Edmonton.